So to you. Whose work is the most expensive painting sold worldwide in year 2022? And how much did it sell for? How was the global art market despite the corona pandemic and the collapse of the uh, world economy? In the meantime, let's find out which painting sold the most expensive in the year. First, I will introduce the word art market in part 1. And then, I will introduce the Korean part as a series. At an amount we cannot imagine, many artworks have set an all-time sales record. But the art market in 2022 is pointed out that the growth rate has a slowdown due to the aftermath of the pandemic and the worldwide competitive panic caused by the war in Ukraine. Even so, we can't help but wonder which paintings were sold at the highest price. The most expensive artworks to sell at auction this year was Andy Warhol's $195 million portrait of a Marilyn Monroe titled Shot Sage Blue Marilyn, selling in May to famed art dealer Larry Gushin, who works on behalf of a billionaire collectors. Though it is still unclear if he purchased it for himself or one of his clients. The painting, the most expensive ever sold at an auction by an American artist, and the most valuable from the 20th century was sold as a part of famed late Swiss art dealer Thomas Amman and his sister Doris' collection at Christie's in May by George Serra, which fetched in $149 million and was the most valuable artwork sold during the record-breaking auction of late Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen's collection. Also from the Allen collection, was Paul Cezanne's La Montagne Saint Victor, which sold for $137 million, nearly double the artist's previous record at auction. A Cypress landscape by Vincent van Gogh called Virgil Abag Cypress also broke the artist's auction record when it sold for $117 million during the Allen auction. Paul Gauguin's Maternity II and Gustav Klimt's Birch Forest from Allen collections sold for $105 million and $104 million, respectively, and broke the auction record for the artist. The past year was filled with record-breaking auctions and prices. At 300,000, 350. 43 million pounds, 44 million. At 1 million, 600,000 pounds. But rising economic uncertainty, inflation, the war in Ukraine, and worries about the impending recession have affected the lower levels of the art market and some aspects of high-end collecting. Art advisor Thomas Stoffer told Artnet News that collectors are focusing on the high end of the market amid the threat of the uh, recession. Established art tax as a safe haven for valuable preservation in certain times like this, Stoffer said, the massive success of the record sale of the Paul Allen collection with the blue chip art is an evidence of that. Meanwhile, some auctions featuring less notable artworks had less impressive results either barely reaching or missing pre-sale estimates. After November, modern and contemporary sale at Phillips Auction House in New York only barely surpassed its $114 million estimate. New York collector told Art News the market was feeling more tentative, adding that the Allen Collection's ex exceptional result did reflect the realities of art sales overall. The market cannot go up forever, he said. We are sometimes in the art market dancing on a volcano when we see what's happening in the world. In Ukraine, in Iran, in Asia, with the difficult COVID situation, they are now facing with a recession in many countries, inflation in many others, divided countries, $1.6 billion. That's how much 60 pieces from Allen Collections brought in at Christie's in November breaking the record for the most expensive art collection ever sold at auction. Over two auctions, the second of which was held in May, just six months before the Allen sale. Christie said this week the auction house brought in a record $8.4 billion in art sales in 2022, driven largely by the Allen collection and other high-profile estate sales like the Amman. Sotheby's said the fine art as a collectible sales totaled $6.8 billion, down 7% from the previous year. Philips said it sold $1.3 billion, up from $1.2 billion in sale reported in 2021. In the end, looking at this trend, it is certain that the blooming world art market is shrinking. Rather, the key point is that the works of a safe master broke the record 
and were sold at a super high prices. In my personal opinion, in this situation, if you do art collecting, I think that it is the right time to invest in low to medium prices works. In short, there is a phenomenon that the works of our famous painters cannot be sold because there are no works. And this is seen as a speculation rather than an investment. However, as I have always told you, art collecting is investing in terms of a monetary investment value, but it is also accompanied by the risks. The price may go up or it may not go up at all. That's why when you do an art collecting, you must first check if you really like this work and whether you are happy with it, and then buy it. In art collecting, which is a long-term race, small collectors like us can invest without stress and enjoy art. Now, I hope you liked my video. If you liked today's video, please subscribe and push the like button. Until next time, have a great week. Bye. At 300,000, 350. 43 million pounds, 44 million. At 1 million, 600,000 pounds now. Sold. Sold. Sold to you.